So we've had a movie, we've had a TV show. What would the video game be for Dominion? I don't know. I'd like to see, maybe you'd see it centered around Alex because really, uh, although there's so much going on in the story and so many different characters, I think he's the center of. Really, it's he's the audience in a sense. He's the one figuring out the relationships around him, who he trusts, what the tattoos mean, and I think he's constantly he's quite reluctant. He's really the anti-hero. So I think that's you, you like to be in the video game. He's all, and that's usually the video game character is that guy who's like figuring out who he is and figuring out his journey. And I think, yeah, I think I'd like to see him. And I just want to see myself in a video game. I think <laughs> he can't fly like the angels, though, right? No, but you don't know what's going to happen. That's the thing. I can't, I can't spoil the, the series, but uh, we could go anywhere. So, well, maybe you could sort of change perspective between angel or human. Right. You know. Co-op play. Co-op play, yes. And I'm, I'm a huge video game lover myself, so I can, I can just imagine. But there should be one, eh? Yeah. Yeah, we should start rallying for it. You know? I mean, sci-fi's got defiance. Yeah, and that came out before the the show, didn't it? Yeah. yeah. Okay. What do you like to play, video game wise? Uh, I'm a Gears of War guy. Okay. Gears of War, Army of Two. I like a lot of co-op games. You know, where you can sit with your best mate and just, you know, play. It's kind of annoying because nowadays they're making more games where you actually have to have a console. You know, and it's all online. So, yeah. But I love the co-op co-op games. Do you guys get to play any video games on set? We didn't actually. Um, no, we didn't. We were. It was a really intense schedule, actually. Uh, so we didn't get. Maybe the weekends we got some. Usually you'd be sleeping, or you know, we'd be checking out some restaurants. But um, it's a good idea for second season. If we go for a second season, we should have like a Xbox room. What's it like stepping into this world? Um, it's in, it's enjoyable. I mean, I, I've always been attracted to sci-fi and I think uh, doing movies like Resident Evil, Extinction, where, which of course was set in Vegas, a post-apocalyptic Vegas, so you know, and uh, Kings of course, which was a sort of really, I mean again, big story, big message, chosen one sort of idea to it. Um, but I think at the end of the day for me it's a hero, I'm attracted to that hero's journey, that, uh, that boy becoming man, man realizing the call essentially on his life. And what does he do with it? Does he choose to take the, r the right path or the wrong path, really? Do you have any real tattoos since you got these uh, virtual ones on the show? No, I, d I don't. But um, little trivia is that the, the tattoos that, we, that they have, that they design on the show, are actual like biblical scriptures uh, in angelic language that apparently, from research, this is angel language. So our SFX guy actually believed through a lot of his research that, that this was what you know for hundreds of years has been believed to be angelic language so if that's true or not i don't know but it's kind of cool to talk about you know and kind of cool to think yeah hey this might be angel language so yeah it seems like you guys have a pretty cool set too it's a, it, seems, it seems it has a very big feel to it yeah it does and i think uh, shooting in cape town uh especially it was nice to sort of get away from, you know, often you shoot pilots in Vancouver or Toronto, Canada's a big spot to shoot a lot of pilots. Uh, and I think for all of us it was exciting to go so far from anywhere you'd normally shoot and shoot in locations that I think people aren't used to seeing and uh, a really hard working crew as well. Just, just a totally different environment that I think gave it a very special feel. Yeah. Thank you very much.